Here's three reasons why you might want a gas golf cart instead of a lithium ion golf cart. Range. Depending on the battery's amp hour rating, you can go anywhere from 20-ish to 70-ish miles per charge on a lithium battery. But a gas golf cart will easily do 150 miles to 200 miles per tank of gas. Charging. Not only can a gas golf cart go three to five times further per tank of gas compared to a fully charged lithium ion golf cart, but when you get low on gas, you just take five minutes to put more gas in it and go another 150, 200 miles. But when your lithium battery starts to die and you need to recharge it, you need to spend three, four, five, six hours recharging it to go another 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 miles. And if it's Friday evening, and you hop on your lithium ion golf cart to go golf 18 holes with the guys and you figure out your kids didn't plug your cart in when they were using it, you're not going to be very happy because now you can't charge it in time to actually go use it versus a gas golf cart, you just throw gas in it and you're good to go. Cost, OEM to OEM. If we're comparing apples to apples here, a lithium ion golf cart is going to cost you more than a gas golf cart. And yes, although it might cost you a few hundred bucks a year to fill the gas golf cart up with gas, including the yearly maintenance, but lithium batteries are anywhere from two to four grand. And if you have to replace that battery eight years from now, once you're out of warranty, then you might find yourself sinking more money into this lithium ion golf cart over time than you would have with a gas golf cart. So if you want the furthest range possible, you don't want to deal with plugging your cart in every time you're not using it, and you want to spend a little less money upfront or long-term, then you might want to consider going to a gas golf cart instead of a lithium one.